Hello and welcome to another episode of Sirat Lagart Adventures. This is Berithan of the Sirat Lagart of Gondor and we're back in the Ered Mithrim in the Thornhold and we are in helping Radagast investigate the Angolaran poison. So, let me refresh my mind. We need to collect uh, the poison, fresh water, animal livers and mushrooms. So I, I think we can, we can begin with the animal livers and make our way from there. Hopefully with these ones. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the hearts don't work, but the wolves and the latvers do work. We have there the stone trolls that we can safely ignore. And where will we find those mushrooms? I'm not sure. That's partly why I want to get all the levers first, so that we can cross that out of the map. Well, we are not having a lot of luck with those levers, it seems. Now the water, it seems is on that little island in the middle of the lake that was also part of the Moonlit of Riddles. So yeah, it seems I was right in thinking or partially remembering that we were supposed to visit that island at some point in the future. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh water, mushrooms, and the Angolaran poison. Ah, the Angolaran poison from the weapons. So no, we, we don't need to fight the Angolidine. Oh, for God's sake. Mushrooms, water, ah, oh, come on. There's a lot of trolls in here, I want to avoid them. Ah, oh, no, come on. Jeez. Trolls are the absolute worst kind of mobs in the entire game. Any kind of troll. Mushrooms! One. Two. Um. Let us look in around. Stop resisting my attacks. Ah, there are scholar. Yeah, we're really close to the Owens Bridge. That's fortunate. We can get an extra parchments and, and wax as well. And here we have the Angolan weapons. And once again, I think we can make a quick stop in here. 
just to grab a few of these chests. Uh, okay, there it is. Yeah, the weapons was fairly easy. And the water, once again, seems to be on the island. So that's where we're going next. I think we can uh, cross the Owens Bridge. We're gonna get some more artifacts along the way. Because from the western shore, it's a shorter distance to the island, less time swimming, and more crafting materials. It's win win everywhere you look at it. Heavy chest. Yeah, it's great that the scholar chests are so abundant on this area. I mean, from what from what we've seen on the Erythmithrin, uh, there are not so many places that would have these chests. So it stands to reason the depths would add a lot of them in the few areas where it's reasonable that they would exist. And that only makes our job at collecting them all the easier. That's it. I know, there's another one over there. Let's grab this one. It seems to be the last one. Right. Now, we need to get on the shore. I don't think we're gonna uh, cross the Owens Bridge on our way back. I think we can maybe swim. We'll see. This is a very nice place. Ah, oh, jeez. Mind, I'm trying to take in the view and um, what's a good place to look at this? Just want to get a really nice view of the island. The dwarf statue on the front. Like so. That should be it. And with that picture taken, we can now uh, look for the pure water. What do we have here? Vitality and Might. That's not uh, something that we can use really. I'm not sure how much of these items are used for tasks. I forgot to visit the task port last time I had the chance, so now I will have to wait. Water jug, okay. Yeah, we're only missing the mushrooms now. And back to Radagast it is. So, mushrooms. Don't see any.
Don't be that far, right? Please. Oh, jeez, he's up there, no! An easy way to climb up there. There seems to be none. Yeah, that's what you deserve. It's a lot of work for just one mushroom, but I'm glad it's over. We got it. Bring the ingredients to Radagast. Got it. Uh, can we make our way back from here? It seems we can. So that's gonna be fast, I hope. Let's take a look. There doesn't seem to be a good way up from here. I can assure you, Radagast is gonna have, have us bring this back to the Bjornings. There's a lot of back and forth between Radagast and the Bjornings for this quest line. We're almost there. We're almost there to Radagast. Ah. Uh, here we go. There we go. Very good. This should suffice, Beryathan. I need to do one more test to be certain that it is safe for your kind. Could you combine all those ingredients in the mortar and pestle for me? Sure. Let me give you a hand. <laughs> ah, this burn animation is great. The ingredients mix to form a pungent concoction. Well, I never said it would smell nice. The other is how you know it will work. I will test this batch, and if all goes well... I will be able to make enough for you and the Beordings to protect against the Angolaran weapons. Return to the Beordings now and make our work here known to them. Before you proceed with the assault on the Angolaran, return to me and I will provide you with an antidote sufficient for the task. You see, a lot of back and forth. <laughs> a lot of back and forth. It's the way it is. Thankfully, uh, Skogus is not... Not that far, really. It's just that there is a lot of climbing involved. And we can skip the way down. We can we can look for an easy way down. Not so much the way up. Oh god. Yeah, the annoying part about this back and forth is not so much the distance, but it's the fact that it's plagued with enemies. Uh, so that means you're gonna stop a lot of times for fighting. And in a warden's case, that means you will need to reapply your force march a lot of times as well. But I've grown so used to force march every time I go to another tune, like my guard, my cappy. They are so slow. 
Baskorn is not at his post. Perhaps Trekmoth knows where he is. I know full well that Baskorn is not at his post. It is I, my very self, who told him to take care of the spider folk and drive them away while I finish baking the honey cakes. I told him he should have two honey cakes for himself when he returned. You think I, it was reckless to send Baskorn by himself? Well, perhaps so. My mind was very much on my baking, you see, and it seemed sensible enough at the time. Every once in a while, one yearning is not enough for the task. I do not think we are too late. We should help him. He thinks very highly of you, man, so I will trust you. You have seen what we are up against, after all. You may lead us to their camp. Here is my plan. You return to the brown wizard and bring back this potion of his, while I will get the others prepared for the outing. Or I, I didn't remember this quest being so much fun, uh, in the sense of... Man, you are really into your baking. And that was totally unexpected. <laughs> you, you basically... sent one guy to fight an entire enemy camp because you want to bake, and the reward is twice the cakes. That's, that's hilarious, that's so fun. And I I don't remember if I found this quest line this funny the first time I did it, but now I do. Especially because, well, we already know Bjornings are a reputable bakers, but they are also very trigger heavy, we can say. It's not the appropriate term, but you get what I mean. They are really eager to get into the fight. And they don't let their enemies go away. Uh, so the idea that we have one B warning that it's really not that much into fighting and instead wants to cake, it's a surprising twist on the archetype of the B warnings that lends itself to more funny moments than I remembered. That's great. Of course, it also lends itself to this back and forth we've been talking about, but it's totally worth it, I think, now. The smell is horrible, I confess, but I, it will do the trick. Take it, and you and Track Mud Spoke will be well shielded while fighting the Angolidine. Do be sure to consume it before you strike. I am far from certain of its powers to cure the poison after the fact. Now go, and fortune smile upon you. Uh, does that count uh, as Periathan drinking the poison? Have we already drank the poison? No, the poison, no, the potion, the antidote. Well, you get what I mean. Once again. You know what would be really nice? I'm not sure if there is any technical issue that would prevent it, but it would be really nice if this, for example, was the regular running speed for all tunes, and then Wardens and Hunters and all the other sprint skills would receive the extra boost. With how big the world is nowadays, it would be very nice if we could get some increased uh, movement speed overall. But once again, I'm not sure if there is any technical reason why that is not so. But how could, how cool would that be, huh? Your timing is remarkable, Bryathan. The honey cakes have just finished baking. I may set them to cool properly while we deal with these bothers among Golidine. You may give the poison protection to Fixbat and Hunul while I set the honey cakes out to cool. We share a fence and therefore trust. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you really love your cakes. Your help is most welcome, man. Baskorn is my brother. I would have run off to stand by his side sooner if I had known. No, you need the antidote. Don't be foolish. Track Moth is not a bad sort, really. Though sometimes I think he cares more for honey cakes than his folk, or anyone else for that matter. I suppose I should take this potion too, hadn't I? Well then, preparations are nearly complete, I should say. The honey cakes are cooling, and we are as prepared as one could imagine. Come, let us deal with this Angolidine like the nest of hornets, or I suppose web of spiders that they are. 
Enough talk. Now we act. We be warnings will make quick work of this spider folk. Just you wait. The deadly Angolini now occupy these dwarf ruins on the outskirts of Thornhold and have been a menace to its inhabitants. They need to be driven away from the area before they can sow more of their venomous chaos. Well, this instance seems like a good place to grind this Slayer deed. If need be. Especially if you have a Slayer Deep boost. Uh, but I don't think this one is necessary right now. You are not worthy of testing my skills. You will face my pet instead. Okay. So you're gonna escape. As I was saying, I've been saving some of these Slayer Deeds for later. So I don't think we're gonna use them right now. instance will shut down. Okay, that was it. What happened with Bascorn though? Maybe I missed it? No, there he is. You fought well, man, and we drove the Uncle Edine out of the Thornhold. I fear that I am responsible for the injury to Bascorn. I... I was preoccupied and did not weigh the threat with the gravity it deserved. He now lies silent. My hope is the Brown Wizard's protection will also heal him. What do we have here? Agility, Vitality, Fitness, Critical Rating? Maybe. I don't know. We, we'll need to see if this one will, will do well. Man, we have successfully driven the Ongoledine from Thornhold. That is as good a reason to celebrate as any. However, I cannot bring myself to do to so much as look at those honey cakes while Baskorn is ill. I feel quite ill myself with remorse. Could you go check on him and see if there is any improvement in his condition? Thank you, Uriathan. I see now what a fool's errand I was on, alone and without protection from the spider folk's poisons. I... I am not well. Not feeling well. I fear none of my folk have the art to treat this poison. Will you go back to Radagast and ask what he could do for me? Worse right in the better. It is as I feared. I do hope the brown wizard can help him. Yeah, give me just a minute and we'll see. But now, um, before I forget, let me check how do we do with this. Vitality, I think... I think we'll see an increase in vitality anyways. Physical mastery, I'm not so sure. I think we're gonna lose a lot of physical mastery if we switch arm right now. Ah, oh, wouldn't you know? We lose vitality. Well, we lose morale and physical mastery. No. This is not a good a good piece of gear, so I think we can safely ash this. Ah, I had not equipped this one. I'm gonna equip this one, and we're gonna ash this other one. There we go. Back to Radagast it is. Again. But, well, anyway, we we were already expecting that. I made a really stupid turning here, but, okay. No matter, back to Radagast it is. Maybe? No, we cannot avoid these guys. I know, it's the swarm of bees. Who would have thought, but they have a long range. We've seen. Jeez. 
face us. There we go once again, the full procession of enemies. So that we can reach Radagast. going to be one hidden in the bushes. I am quite, quite relieved to hear that the Angolidine have fled Thornhold. I might hope we shall not see their faces again, but I fear that is too much to ask. I may have an idea of how to heal the sick and be warning. I will stop by myself and visit. You have done more than enough for the Bjornings of Skogus and all the beasts of this wood, Beriathan. Oh, and if you should cross that peculiar dwarf in your travels, tell him he may gather wood from the forest's edge. I am certainly won't turn him into a ghost tool or any sort of animal. It appears the Angolerine have already been spotted heading towards Rushgate. We can't be sure if this was a small group of them or if their ranks are in far greater numbers to the west. Crack the Angolidine, Beriathan. Do not engage them, though, if you can avoid it. They are in retreat, and we want to keep an eye on them to see what they plan next. Oh. Okay, the rush gate. You know what? We can we can save that one for later. Um, this is Thickilgundu. We will be going to Thickilgundu at some other point, and I think then it would be a good moment to... Um, to track the Angolidine as well. I just hope that I do remember to do that. But it's it's a long journey. And we are gonna be doing that journey anyways later. So it doesn't make sense to do the same thing twice. But here we have the task for now. Let us see what things we can possibly do. Not for experience once again. Rather, reputation. Uh, so, let me see. Dwarf, sword shit. I don't have. Rock tail. I have two. Stone, upgraded. Skin. I have four. And five, that's nine. So, that's enough. Wither claw. I don't have. And wither ear. Not enough to turn in the task. And... Um, ah, well. Rabbit, yeah. Yeah, that should be enough. So we're gonna equip the Stone of the Tortoise. And uh, we're gonna do the Rock Tail. And... Uh, skin. The Ear. There we go. It's gonna be really quick. We have the weekly quest. So now we have another one of the tails. And the skin. And now we only have enough stocks of the skin. So we're gonna do this really quick. Nine. And... Ten. There we go. I'm back to leveling up. How is our reputation going with the expedition? Halfway through friend. Which is fortunate as we need a friend standing to be able to gather uh, the masters from the quartermaster. We seek Domdobru, its true home. Spider folk? Poison? Honey cakes? What kind of madness is this? You think I want to go in Thornhold now? I trust you less than that wizard after this tale you have spun. I'll simply have to convince some other poor drag to go and gather that wood. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Okay, 
whatever you 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 think it's best. Ah, interesting. Let us check this. So, crafts for moats. That's not what we're looking for yet. Uh, and what do we have here? A couple of those other quests. There is much to be done. Well, now you have done well in your hunt. I will give you that. Heights for the Nadot. Heights to keep my people warm. That is good. Okay. So, first of all, we got some runes. I oh, know. A tracery box. A heal bonus for conviction. Okay. Uh, this one is very interesting because this will increase our agility and thus our physical mastery. But we're going to see a hit on uh, our vitality. But we will get more finesse, which is also uh, useful as we've been getting many resists lately. So let's check this. Oh, yeah, that's quite a hit, but I think I'm gonna take it anyway. And I hope I don't come to regret this. But it's done, so no more we can do on that regard. Grizzlefell, we're gonna wait. Uh, Pan in the edit Mithrim. That can wait a little bit longer too. Okay, we can complete this one. It seems we need to go to the Glimmer Deep now. Yeah. So, where is Oruk? The state of the expedition. Yeah, no, we're not... Well, we're doing the state, of, the state of the expedition, but we don't need to have this on our quest tracker as of yet. So, let us look for Oruk, and we'll make our way to the Glimmer Deep. If we're lucky enough, we can do all the prerequisites for the Glimmer Deep today. So that next episode, we can finally venture into the Glimmer Deep and experience the first instance of the Grey Mountains. They did something that I really enjoyed, and they started a trend here in the Grey Mountains, and that is that the instances, all the three and six man instances, now also have a solo version. So that you, if you don't have a group, or if you are not that into grouping, you can still experience the end of the story, what the instance is about, and don't leave loose ends hanging around. And that I appreciate a lot. Uh, ah, here are the stairs. Great. You see, I knew there were some stairs in here. So as I was saying, uh, they started this trend on the Grey Mountains. And that also allows them to create more intricate stories with their conclusions on the instances with, without... Uh, having to sacrifice or alienate some of their player base. You can still see the full story for yourself. So that enjoy that quite a lot. Maybe it's too much to ask, but I would enjoy a lot if they would apply this same philosophy to the raids, because we'll see at some point in the future, the story also connects very closely to the Anvil of Winter's Tooth Raid, but there is no way of experiencing that if you don't have a full raid. Uh, same thing will happen in Minas Morgul, in the Elder's Slate. The closest thing we'll get is... Uh, well, we'll, we'll, we can experience like the last one or two minutes of the raid to see the big story moment. That will happen in some later instances, but I would still like if we could get a way of seeing what happens in the raid as a solo player. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you don't agree with me because I know the raiding community is also quite a reserve in, in having some of those raid spaces be only designed for raiding. 
and I respect that, but at the same time I have missed some some very cool moments uh, for not being able to get into the raid, so I don't know. Well, it hasn't happened yet, so rating and storylines in the raids are still exclusive to the rating community, so we'll see how, what happens in the future, basically. You have done us a great service, Beryathan. I wish I could offer you more in return, but I have told you all there is to tell. Nori and his company continued onwards to Thikilgundu without us, but not long after the Shelruka arrived. Oruk pauses for a moment and gazes into the fire. I have known the Shelruka to embellish their tales, but there are often kinds of truth within them. There are many Shelruka in Skarholt, perhaps a few among them will have the answers you seek. Alrighty then. Uh, right, so we'll need to fully traverse Scarhalt once again. Let's see. Ah, come on. I'm getting lost again. Why? How? Scarhalt, why? Why do you do this to me? There, there should be a way of me going back up from here, isn't it? It seems not. I don't want to waste a lot of time looking for something I'm not entirely sure it's there. I have never fully understood Scarhalt. I can traverse it all right. And I know some of the paths and how they connect with each other, but... But I will never claim to know the lay of this place 100%, no. There is a chill in the air. I do not think the Longbeards loot the old cold, cold rake. Yeah, I don't think they did either. You know why they say nobody still alive. Can't believe someone's dead unless you see the body. I have heard tales of strange dwarves wandering in the night. It is nonsense. Ah, yeah, there were also rumors of strange dwarves here in the Edit Mithrim, right? Do you remember it? Let us continue. Scouting the place. But now that we are gathering all this information, I don't think we will be able to get to the Glimmer Deep today. Sadly. What do you have to tell? That is no business of yours, man. Alright. I need to get so picky. Ah, I have a lot on my mind, but I'll not share it with you. You two? What have I done to you? <laughs> Here we have another one. 
The Rust Warrior walks among the mountains. That is all I know. Yeah, we have not seen him yet, but he is out there. Somewhere. Out there. I need to get inside. Okay. So let me grab the frozen page. This is last floor of the dwarf holds. Okay. Making good progress there. Uh, we're not gonna stay a lot in here, but you have to say. It is said that a shadow has fallen on Domic, but I do not know the truth of it. Talk to Dori at Scarhold. Okay. Now, um, Let me see something here really quick. Processing. Yeah, I think we can wait a little bit longer before coming into craft, but the good thing is that with the VIP pops, that will be really quick. In any case, I don't think I'm gonna show you crafting on, on camera. I mean, grind, grinding crafting tier is, does not make for entertaining content, I think. And I think you will also agree with me on that one. Uh, no. Or yes? Yes. I really want to get that master so that I don't have to traverse these stairs again. Maybe that's why I don't know how to get around Scarhold, because every time I need to get to the main floor, I just use a master. So you could say... Um, yeah, that, of course, is easier, but... With the master, you don't really need to know your way around the place. From what I heard, from what I've seen, uh, Scarhold has some fans. And yeah, I, I, I get it. I mean, it's kind of different for from some of the most of the other dwarf locations we've seen. And the cracked building also makes for a unique setting, but man, is this traverse in this place a sore. Anyway, here we are back with Dori. What have you learned, Bariathan? You informed Dori that only a few longbeards remain in Scarhot and that Nori and the rest of his expedition followed the main Angruun to Thikilgundu. You also informed Dori that the Shellrokan made mention of Karasgar, Beth of Wintermind, and strange dwarves wandering in the night. Strange dwarves? The Shelbrooke have called the Longbeards many things in many tongues, but I have never known them to call us strange. I wonder what the truth of that tale could be. If Nori and his expedition have traveled to Tikilgundu by way of the Menangrun, he will have passed through Oinsbridge. It is there we must go. It is time, Bariathan, we have spent long enough in the ruins of Tarashar. While I and the others set out on the journey to Oinsbridge, I would ask that you speak to Ingor, son of Bekun. I have felt many eyes upon us here, and I fear that my attempt at deception has not gone unnoticed. And so, I would have you tell Ingor that I seek my brother Nori. It is the truth, and it should put his mind at ease. I seek not for wealth or glory, only for my lost kin. When that is done, ride for Oinsbridge. It is there we will reunite and take our next rest. Oinsbridge lies to the south beyond the forest, but the Thornhold is home to many dangers. Do not stray from the dark road. Alright, there you have it. Uh, that is where we will, I mean, continue searching for a Nori that will eventually lead us to Thikilgundu so that we can also as well advance that uh, Angolerine quest when we go there. But once again, since that is on the farthest side of the map of the Grey Mountains, I think we are gonna first uh, finish all the other stuff. The Glimmer Deep, 
uh, Stormwall, the Black Book a little bit, because why not? And, uh, well, we we will need to eventually get to Thickle Gundu anyway. Oh no, this is the wrong path. I think it is the wrong path. I mean, I only know one way of getting to the top of Scarhalt, so you will forgive me if there is another way, but I have no idea of this place. So, through here, this one over here. So, Prince Ingor is, uh, once again, inside, what is this, the throne room of Scarhold? The Keep of Tarrasha, well, the Keep. to you. Ingor, son of Bekun, stands among his company of Shelruka. Ah, oh, there you are. Bozo and Malik. It is good to see you again, Beryathan. I do hope my kinsfolk have held their tongues in regards to your Kamba umbrella companions. From what Dori has told me, Nath and Reddy and the rest of their kinsfolk knew great hardship in Mordor before they came to dwell in the Lonely Mountain. Enough hardship, I think that mere insults would do not to wound them. Perhaps I am not so resilient, but I find the greatest insult to be dishonesty. Tell me, Bariathan, have you had any luck in finding heirlooms of the Longbeard, or have you come to tell me the truth of Dori's little expedition? What is it you truly seek? You tell Ingor of Dori's last brother, Nori, who traveled into the Grey Mountains against the will of his king and the king under the mountain. I see. Perhaps I have judged Dori too hastily. There is a byword among the Shelruka, its true meaning cannot be shared, but it speaks of one who is governed by a doomed obsession. Those unlucky few seek the citadel. For Dori's sake, I hope his brother does not seek the citadel. You may go, Beriathan. May you find Nori before death or madness takes him. Okay, you seem like a very reasonable prince. I wasn't expecting this from Ingor. It's good to see that he... Uh, That he has not taken ill will with Dori and his company, and he's willing to help, or at least offer some words of consolation. No, that's not the way down. Christ, what is the way down? Somebody help me. These, this one. Yeah. Ah, not this one. Ah, close enough. Uh, that makes me wonder though, if you come all the way through here... No, that's... That's a big jump, that's not something that you can do. So here what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look for the western exit of Scarhalt. We're gonna wait there until next episode so that we can venture into the Glimmer Deep. But once again, I don't think we can do that today. Not even a little bit of it, so...
All right, here we are, once again, at the gates of Skarhold, and we're gonna wait in here until the time comes for us to go to the Glimmer Deep. For the time being, this has been all on today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.